Hello, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? All right, so as of filming this, happy free comic book day, and... May the 4th be with you! Oh, two in one. Uh -uh. It's like a... It should be like a nerd national holiday. It kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> so, quick question. Do you nerd for free comic books? So, like, I totally nerd for anything free, basically. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. That's, that's a silly question. Yep. Free gravel? I'm there. Some of it's sparkly. <laughs> All right, yet again, you had to work. I did. But fortunately, she has me. I've always got Lady Lacey's back. And I was there in a freaking long line. Uh, I do want to note real quick, this line was so long that you had like the opening of the store and they went down the awning and then it curved back and onto the sidewalk all the way back to the front of the store again. Wow. Everyone wanted in there. So here's the freebies. Woo! Let's see what they are. All right. So uh, a decent stack. And interestingly enough, in the past, I would often pick up one of each because, you know, hey, they're free comics and that's a great way to see if it's something you want to get into. This time, I actually did focus a little more on stuff that I thought we might be a little more interested in. Well, we are kind of running out of space in that regard. And the other thing is, it's like, you know, we have found out that we haven't actually read some of them. So it's kind of silly. So, I mean, we'll get a, a nice bigger shot, but, uh, you know, staples like the tick and everything and uh, artwork like Lady Mechanica and cool little stuff like this Under the Moon. I thought you might like that. Yeah, those are cool looking. Going off the, the art stuff here. And I did want to point out that I picked this up because that looks like uh, Dinosaurs for Hire down there. A little bit. Hey, how about this crossover? Buffy and Firefly? Holy cow. Nice. <laughs> I would like to hear Ooh, if you guys cool. picked up any of these. And if you've checked them out already, maybe what do you think? Stranger Things. Yeah. New season uh, inbound. Ooh, Spider-Man. Is that Carnage or Venom on the front? Of the... Carnenum. Carnenum. Vinage. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja... Can't sing anymore, we'll get caught. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Avengers 1. Nice, nice. The ignition. And then for me, Vampirella. Ooh, which I was surprised nice, to see a uh, nice. free comic of her. Although she's been really hitting the comic she scene has lately. Been. The Valentine's Day. Uh, I think she had a Halloween one too. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. Some neat. These are some good ones. They some were good some stuff. good stuff. And this wasn't even all of them, there were lots of others yeah. to choose from. But. We also, well, I also picked up some other things, mostly for her. And I sent him with a list, so some things I picked up. All right, and on that list, of course, she had some toys. I did. I always love my toys. So I got my Deadpool. How awesome is he? Let me let me open it and show you why he's so awesome. So every year for Free Comic Book Day, um, the Comic Cave always does everything in store half price. So mm -hmm. we always, I always send him with a list. Okay, these are the things <laughs> that I've been waiting to pick up. So this was one of them. We have Mr. Pool uh, sitting on a just a Deadpool sign, but I love the fact that he's in like this maid's dress and he's very prim and proper. Gosh, he looks like such a bratty little girl. Oh, he does, but he's just <laughs> so freaking cute. I absolutely love that. I'm wondering if I shouldn't have you buy me two of them so I can put one on my computer at work and have one at home. Nice. <laughs> I think not only will she love this, but Miss Yvonne Williams will. My Spyro! I'm so excited about this one. When I saw him before we had gone in, I was like, that is the first thing I want him to get when it's half price. So I love my Spyro. He's such a cute purple little dragon. I have my own Spyro costume. It is nowhere near as cool <laughs> as Miss Yvonne's. It's more of those kind of a pajama one, yeah, thing that was pajama. really popular a couple of years ago. I even dressed up as dressed up for it for Halloween except we didn't get any trick or treaters last year so my Halloween Just picture punks. was a sad spyro. <laughs> Punk ass kids. Uh, no. Not even wanting I had candy. candy to give out. They didn't want it. Is 
Isn't he freaking adorable? Wow, that looks great. There is some intense detail all over him. The package definitely does not do it justice. No. This is a figure you have to get out to yeah. really see the detail. And you can see here his head moves up and down and side to side. His wings, um, they are painted, but they do have the, the thing on them. So it's going to, obviously you need to kind of get the, the paint to move a little bit. But his tail, each wow. single tail joint is articulated. Nice. That was thinking ahead. That really Sometimes was. you get a tail on a figure and it's like, oh yeah, I can move it this or yeah. this way, but that's it. And then his joint here moves. And then this moves. It's pretty stiff, but that still moves. And then each leg and then each foot. So, I mean, he is pretty awesome. Well, and this is a NECA brand figure. Yes. So, you know it's going to be quality. Those games are a lot of fun. And, I mean, I love dragons anyway. So, he's just so adorable. Oh, I love him. I love him. <laughs> All right, now this next bit, this was actually a freebie from the Comic Cave. Uh, one of the people that had worked the Planet Comic Con, I believe is what it's called. They brought this in just to kind of give out. They had some extras. I believe it is a holy cow large. Oh gosh! Ah. <laughs> it kind of seems like it's a large backpack because of the strap. Yes, I see people in those videos whenever they are doing videos of the big conventions with these bags. I've always wanted one. That's so cool because yeah, I mean everything that they give you. You've got to carry it in something, and a bag this big is not going to fit anywhere else. Now, that is so cool. As you can see, it was their 20th anniversary. A shame we couldn't make it. I know. Kind of snuck up I on know, us, I though. Did. But the reason I wanted this bag, because this would be a great wall piece. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. It's that, like, pinup 1950s alien pinup style. That is so awesome. I knew she'd like Love this. Love that. Thing. You probably could. <laughs> I'll carry you around the con. Ooh, I could be your Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> um, one more thing that was really cool about Comic Cave, Mr. Colin Bunn was on hand we to do some him. signatures and everything. And uh, we had bugged him some of the last time for some signatures, mm -hmm. so I didn't take anything with me to have him sign this time. But he was absolutely as nice and as accommodating yeah. as he always is. I saw a gentleman there with a, a good stack of books. Cohen had no problem signing them. I think that he's even said he will sign whatever you bring him. Yeah. If you have a lot of stuff, he might set it aside yeah. to finish it to get some other signatures through. But Which he's I've so got awesome. Stuff stacking up for the next time, next convention he's going to be at. I've got my books <laughs> keep piling up. Because you know, something I've noticed with Mr. Bun is I'm reading a comic and then I'll look at see who the author is and it happens to be him. And it's like, seriously, are you just writing every comic I read? <laughs> I write it asleep. <laughs> and uh, I did notice that um, he was pushing the bungalow. This is a podcast that he does with Mrs. Bun. So you guys should definitely oh, check yeah. that out. I'll leave a link in the description. That was my time at the Comic Cave. Now, uh, a little later in the day, a different comic shop called Nameless City, is that right? I think so. I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, it's still kind of new to us, but they were having their free comic book day, and uh, it was a nice little celebration. It was almost a small con in itself. So they have a bunch of comics, of course, and a lot of tabletop stuff on hand. Oh, I love they that. had a back room that they said they dedicate to painting miniatures and oh, playing fun. a lot of tabletop games. So it was a really cool little setup. The people at VisionCon were there doing some green screen photos. And if they get that picture up on Facebook, there should be one of me with a certain Avenger. <gasps> Ooh. Right Which now. Avenger? Which Avenger? Just look at the picture. <laughs> and I did pick up one book there because the other day when I saw this cover online, I had to get it just for the cover alone. Oh, I remember you sending me a picture about that, and yeah. I'm glad you found it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist. It looks too good. Our friends, Oz Foxes. Oh, yeah, I've got one of their cookbooks. With the little May the 4th Cute. love. Cute. That is that adorable. Great. I love them. Their foxes are very reminiscent of um, the 
Robin Hood mm -hmm. foxes, and so that's what drew my attention. We saw them, I think it was two or three years ago, at Library Con, and I got one of their cookbooks, because each page is illustrated with their foxes, and they're so freaking cute. And of course, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys yes. can check them out, because yeah, their art's just a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the comic was actually the only thing I technically bought there, but I did throw some money to uh, tip some gifts for this one. Ooh, I like gifts. So I got two things for her, and I don't know which one to show you first, because I don't know which one you'll love first. So I'll just start with this one. <gasps> it's spider Gwen! Yay! I love that. That's awesome. And the artist right here. Thank you, Future Tom. Links in the description below, of course. That's awesome. So yeah, he drew that right there on the spot. Wow. And of course I had to tip him for it, nice. because that was too cool of him to do so. Yes. That is awesome. And I took a picture of him having drawn that with the other artist that was sitting right next to him uh -huh. having drawn this. Uh-huh. <gasps> Silk! <laughs> Yay! Again, artist name right here with descriptions down below. Nice. So I felt very bad that she couldn't make it to free comic book Aww. day with me. And once I saw that these guys were doing some <laughs> quick sketches, I had to ask them. And it doesn't hurt to, you know, kind of file some of that good karma away for the next time I mess <laughs> something up. I could be like, I know you're mad, but remember, spider Gwen and silk. So did you vacuum up before I got home from work today? Well, that went fast. <laughs> All right. There's the hall, nerdlings. I definitely want to know if any of you partook in free comic book day. As you can see, mm -hmm. you know, toys, fun, merch, yep. you know, art pictures and everything. It doesn't always have to be all about comic books. And, uh, you know, May the 4th. So maybe you did something for Star, yeah, Wars. Star Wars. Either yeah. way, let us know in the comments below. Drop a like if you happen to like it. Hit subscribe. Hit that bell. And... Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to know what we're doing out and about in the real world and to know when videos have dropped because sometimes YouTube just doesn't tell you. Also, guys, don't forget to go to Tee Public because we got some merchandise. We got some woo. There we go. Lovely merch. And if we like it... We ride atomic rockets for it. And we nerd it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, nerdlings. Leave me alone, I just burst a dragon. Psst, get out of here. It's okay, it's my nose.